Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Aquariuses who are watching. So if you have Aquarius as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Aquarius, in your reading today, what I'll be doing here is channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently. But before I do go ahead and begin to get started, please keep in mind, Aquarius, that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally, Aquarius. But without further ado, of course, let's go ahead and officially begin to get started, first with your tarot portion of your reading. Let's see what we have going on for Aquarius, please, at this time. When it comes to love, first card we do have is the Queen of Swords. All right, what's this Queen of Swords energy about for my Aquariuses, please, when it comes to their love connection or the energy of love that's making its way towards them? Let me just go ahead and get these cards together, Aquarius. We have the Queen of Swords as well as the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, who's this person making their way towards Aquarius, please, with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles? Okay, Three of Swords, Aquarius. Three of Swords. All right, Three of Swords. Why do we have this Three of Swords for Aquarius, please? And who's this Three of Swords about? We have the Five of Pentacles, Aquarius. Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles. What else do we need to know? Let's clarify the energy that we do have so far. Ten of Swords. All right, Aquarius, one more card, please. And seven of pentacles. So, Aquarius, um, I do feel like this re revol or regards, excuse me, this regards someone you already know could be a past person or an ex-partner here. So, we do have a queen of swords, knight of pentacles, three of swords. I'm not sure if I said the Three of Swords, but that is the Queen of Swords, that very first card. The Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, Aquarius, I feel like you had to make a decision between your feelings versus what is truly right for you. So you had to step away, or, <laughs> excuse me, I don't know what I was trying to say there. But it was like, you are you had to step away, separate your your heart from your mind Aquarius because if you were to just lead with your heart on this decision regarding this past person you may have got less than what you truly deserved you may have settled here because I felt like or not I felt like but I feel like this person showed you an action or a side of them that you you thought would have never made its way into this connection here Something that really made you feel hopeless, made you feel like the work that you've been putting into the connection, the both of you, it, it meant nothing here. And I say that because we have the Three of Swords, that's heartbreak, that's heartache, that's betrayal, that's someone blindsiding you. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it could feel like a whirlwind Aquarius because it's like something happened all of a sudden but it's affecting you personally so what do you do from there Aquarius so and the thing is Aquarius you may have not really shown the extent of how that made you feel to this person you may have in a way walked away in silence or when you did walk away you didn't you didn't let this person know your your next moves or anything because I feel like you were processing it while it happened or once you found out and moving forward Aquarius and the five of pentacles it's like what do I do from here 
I'm capable, I'm able, I'm, I have everything I need to walk out that door and do what I need to do, but that momentum, that motivation, I just don't feel it right now. So I do feel like for you, Aquarius, you took some time to let everything just flow out, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. And this could come out, of course, only take what resonates for you, but what I thought of was like spoken word poetry, Aquarius, screaming, like uh, journaling, like letting your words out, Aquarius. So we have the Ten of Swords. I feel like you had this period of reflection and you may be in that period as of now, but once again, coming to that, that decision to cut something, someone out of your life, I feel like that's where that Queen of Swords came in because you have to separate your, your emotions. As you can see, that water is locked up or it's behind that cage there. Let me take care of the tough decisions first before I access these emotions. Let me get the hard part out of it, Aquarius. And Knight of Pentacles, it, it may have taken you some time to reflect, to release, to process, to heal, but I feel like you've been doing it, Aquarius. But with the Knight of Pentacles and also the Seven of Pentacles, I'm going to clarify that energy here. Um, but I do feel like what I've gone through so far is describing past energy, Aquarius. Let's see what else we need to know with this energy for my Aquariuses, please. We have the Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius. What else do we need to know? Following the Seven of Pentacles, please, we do have the Tower that came out. The Tower for Aquarius. What else do we need to know here? The Tower... The Three of Wands. What's coming towards Aquarius with the Tower and the Three of Wands when it comes to love, please? What's this? Okay, Aquarius. So, this card did fall. I know it is the Moon card, Aquarius. Um, let's see if I'm able to get it. I do apologize for the disruption, Aquarius, but... Okay, Aquarius, so we have the moon card. Following the three of wands, we have the moon card. Let me just organize these a bit better. All right, so the moon. Okay, let's clarify the moon. Just to show we do have a high priestess at the bottom currently. So I feel like you're really paying attention to what's within Aquarius, your intuition, feeling guarded, feeling protected, feeling confident, page of pentacles, the moon, the page of pentacles, what else do we need to know? We have the page of swords and the eight of pentacles, Aquarius, page of swords, eight of pentacles. And let's go ahead and receive two last cards, please, from my Aquariuses. Eight of Pentacles, then Ten of Wands, Aquarius. One more card. For my Aquariuses, all right. Temperance came out, Sagittarian energy, and the Magician. Let's just keep both of these Aquarius. So, Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Tower, Aquarius. Three of Wands, the Moon. Three of Wands, the Moon. The Page of Pentacles. Then we have the Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Temperance, and the Magician. So there could be that energy of this past person coming back, Aquarius, wanting to start things with you again. But I last touched on the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're starting to see progress on your own and building your momentum again. Um, so I feel like you're focusing on yourself and although it may be tough, it may be somewhat of a longer process because it doesn't happen all at once. You're learning what, what methods or what strategies, what routines you can do in order to make yourself have that passion, have that light within. And it's always there, Aquarius, but sometimes we just need to be reminded of it. So Seven of Pentacles, you're doing this for yourself here. 
after this tower energy occurred, after the truth was revealed. You're picking up the pieces for yourself, Aquarius, and I feel like it may have taken some time, as stated, but you're getting that, that spark back in your or you're feeling that spark within again what else is out there what else excites me what else do I want to go towards what is calling my name so you may have your idea set out on something it could be love related it could be anything in life but I do feel like these emotions may pull you back in um you you could still get lost in the what could be what was real what was fake if we were to reconcile would this be better? Would this person be in it with me? In it to win it with me? But don't get distracted, Aquarius. Feelings, emotions, memories, they come and go. They're always there. Um, but just as far as what's real, what's fake for yourself, Aquarius. Because sometimes we miss things. We miss parts of things. We miss things in completion. But it could be for that moment. So take your time, Aquarius, but I feel like with that energy of reconciliation, just know where you see yourself, where you want to, how you want to feel, Aquarius, because with what's coming towards you, I feel like there could be two different, you always have options and choices, but I feel like, do I, it's that energy of, do I stay or do I go, but with this energy we do have, I feel like you're moving forward for yourself. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, it's all about what's new, Aquarius. Um, you're you're an individualistic and an innovative sign already. So I feel like you know that the options are not limited here. So with the Page of Pentacles and Page of Swords, you may be doing something that is a first for you, Aquarius. Building a new start, but doing something completely different this could be learning a different language this could be traveling really stepping outside of the box for yourself and I feel like you're also doing a lot of learning here it's like you're definitely transforming yourself um or being a better version of yourself or exploring just more sides of who you are because we have the ace of the eight of pentacles excuse me that's self-abundance that's learning that's gravitating towards different subjects different topics hobbies aquarius anything that will bring yourself inner abundance studying yourself learning about yourself I feel like you're grasping that in because you are preparing for this move you're you are preparing to pack up and go but that journey is going to be well worth it aquarius and with the temperance card i feel like you're also living and letting go here you realize the two sides of each equation how things have added up and how things are not always going to add up the same here but that's why it's about self-discovery that's why it's about embracing the past embracing what's in front of you embracing what's in the present moment here so you don't just wallow and stay not stay stuck but just harp on the downfalls that you've experienced and I feel like you're very faithful. You're optimistic here, the magician. Everything will come towards you, Aquarius. You're very abundant. So especially when you lead with that mindset, you're just excited. You trust in the universe, Aquarius. So this was like a singles slash past person energy, Aquarius. But I will pull some hidden truth oracle messages. We need to let each other go. You may resonate with that. We need to let each other go. What else do we have for Aquarius, please? I left you before you could leave me. You, Aquarius, not being able to tolerate what's been going on here. Not going to accept that for yourself. I wish I treated you better. I wish I, I, wish I had treated you better. That past person, Aquarius, one more message, please. And I want you. Someone wants you, but they can't have you. Of course, only take what resonates for you, Aquarius. Let's see what signs may be relevant. We do have Taurus for Aquarius. Gemini, Taurus, Gemini. And Leo. Scorpio could be relevant. Perhaps another Aquarius. But 
Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you next time. Bye.